all of the nights in watching TV instead of going out. We'll we'll see what they were all for. See what they were, see if they were all worth it. In North Ayrshire, it's the day before 21-year-old Amy Dickinson's wedding to fiance Daniel. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, the, the engagement party was brilliant. So yeah. I think this is going to be even better. This is our wedding sword cake that we're sword. going to cut the cake with. So the cake will look nice and white and relatively typical of a wedding. And then in front of it, you're going to see there's a badass sword. I love Daniel because he makes me laugh when I feel like falling apart. The sword's actually a replica of Legolas from Lord of the Rings sword. We were looking at cakes and Amy was just like, babe, look at this. You can cut your cake with a sword. And I was like, you, this is my dream come true. I love that she puts up with me because I'm, I would consider myself a weirdo. <laughs> Our wedding is a mixture of sort of what normally happens and then a wee bit of our personalities thrown into it. It's going to look far better sitting next to it than just a measly little cake knife. I'd probably like to be handed the sword and just sort of run at it and just sort of just maybe just smash it into pieces. <laughs> Did you even pull the inside on? No. What you like? Amy and Anya live together with their baby son, Lucas. They've been engaged for over two years, with the proposal being anything but conventional. After we've been together for a year, um, we just uh, rolled out of bed one morning, absolutely butt naked, and got down on one knee with this ring, and it was basically, this is me, will you marry me? Um, and I said yes. Mom's gonna kill me when she sees that. <laughs> She said no, that would have been horrendous. <laughs> like, just running out the house, her clothes balled up, butt naked, just like, oh God. <laughs> she said yeah, so that was nice. That was pathetic. <laughs> My mum was like a bit taken aback. I think she was like, oh, it's a bit soon, they're a bit young. But uh, now she's really excited about it and she's kind of came to accept that. I think for my friends, they couldn't see themselves settling down at this age. Are you pulling daddy's hair? <laughs> but they can see how happy Daniel makes me, so they're happy for me. Amy and Daniel had hoped to get married sooner, but the arrival of baby Lucas delayed their wedding dream. What are you doing? Lucas was not planned. <laughs> the, the plan for our future was to get married. Then after maybe a year or so, then think about having a kid. Where is my Carelessness caused us to get a little surprise. Yes, give me a smile. And when it came to planning the wedding, Daniel was in for plenty more shocks. Come on, give me some smiles for Dad. Well, I don't know anything about it. I've never, I'd never been to a wedding. What do we get? Like, you know, dress, rings. As soon as you say wedding, it's just tax. An extra zero on at the end. It's just so expensive. Amy and Daniel both worked part-time at a local petrol station while saving for the wedding, so finances were tight. We did all the prices and it turns out it was going to be nine grand, nine and a half grand. We were both working part-time, me on four grand and Daniel on nine, so it was a bit of a struggle. Maybe we put sockies on. Where are the socks? Well, the last two years we've done next to nothing other than just set and save money. With the wedding a day away, they managed to save all the money they needed and Amy is now looking forward to the future. Already. I want to be Mrs Wordy, not just his girlfriend. It makes us a, a proper family with Lucas. So that's me. I'll be ready to go then. On the west coast of Scotland, it's the night before the wedding, and following tradition, Amy and Daniel are spending the night apart. While Daniel's staying with his best man, Amy's got her mum, Matty, and a few friends over for her last night as an unmarried woman. Mummy marrying Daddy tomorrow. Is she? How are you feeling? Ah. The way I see it is, I'm marrying Daniel. I want to marry Daniel and it's in front of all my friends and family. However, I didn't expect you to be too nervous anyway. I shouldn't be nervous in front of my friends and family. 
For Mum Matty, it's an emotional time. I think they've got a strong relationship. Um, they, they respect each other and uh, trust and respect goes a long way. <laughs> well, my marriage only lasted seven years and I want her to have a successful marriage that was to last the whole of her life. It doesn't always work that way, but I hope it does for her. Cheers, girls. In Scotland, all the scrimping and saving is about to pay off for Amy and Dan. Later today, they will become man and wife. Right now, though, it's all about the bride. I'm the first getting married out of all my siblings and all my friends. Wish it was me. <laughs> Not getting married to Danny, that's a bad <laughs> It's Isn't nice it? having you all here while I'm getting ready as well, instead of just meeting you down there. Like, on your own and all that. You've got to stop me from being totes emotional. <laughs> <laughs> One little guest is guaranteed to make anyone totes a mosh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, hello my wee man! Don't you look spectacular? You're so cute, Lucas. Oh, mummy's wee smasher! Look at that cute! There you go! There we go, sorted! Your wee dummy pouch. Shoe packed. <laughs> Are you going to head off and mummy see you there? You'll be waiting with daddy. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh, hey, oh, 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 dummy. It's inside the store. store. <laughs> Whilst the wee man of the clan is looking every inch the Highlander, best man Dave and the groom Dan are finding the Scottish finery a tad fiddly. The socks aren't straight. <laughs> Can I take you anywhere? David, I'm going to come over there and I'm going to tie your bloody shoes for you. Just like that, round, round, and then that'll do. Let me just remove the, oh, oh just a sec, I hope we don't catch a glimpse of anything. That's me. I'm keeping mine on just now. <laughs> At least I can cool down dead easy. <clears throat> Luckily for Amy, the bridesmaids will be bringing a little decorum to the proceedings. Oh, it all look so nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the bouquets go really well they with the dresses. Yeah. We need to get you ready. <laughs> Amy needs to yeah. go and get dressed. Yes. Yes. Come on, go. 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 <laughs> Dan knows what every Scotsman wears under his kilt, and he's strictly enforcing the tradition. Right. David, I think it's time. Get them off. Get them off. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. And off the kilt. This is even better than the stripper at the stag do. <laughs> Don't put those near me. No. <laughs> right. Just avert your eyes, gentlemen, while I go up the stairs here. <laughs> That's not good. Did you see? Finally, kilted up and kitted out, time for the boys to hit the road. We're the Scottish tribute act to the Blues Brothers. <laughs> here he comes, hey. by himself. Oh, that is such a nice breeze, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? For baby-faced bride Amy, it's almost time to tie the knot with Daniel. Almost two years since they got engaged. I'm not panicking or anything, I'm just roasting, that's all. I'm excited. But I get it, well, I get it done so there's none of this big tense wait. Amy's big brother Martin is giving her away. It's been a long journey to get to the day, but I'm really looking forward to it. Daniel, please repeat after me. I, Daniel William Wardy. I, Daniel William Wardy. Sincerely declare. Sincerely declare. That I accept you, Amy Rowan Dickinson. That I accept you, Amy Rowan Dickinson. As my lawful wedded wife. As my lawful wedded wife. Amy, please repeat after me. I, Amy Rowan Dickinson. I, Amy Rowan Dickinson. Sincerely declare. Sincerely declare. That I accept you, Daniel William Wardy. That I accept you, Daniel William Wardy. As my lawful wedded husband. As my lawful wedded husband. <laughs> Please accept and wear this ring, Amy. As a sign of my love for you. As a sign of my love for you. Daniel, you may now kiss your wife. Amy and 
Dan are finally married, but saving everything for the big day has left the groom a little short in the sporran. We'll go get ice cream. I don't have money on me. <laughs> no, I just walk up with that. Your wallet thing. and your sporran. I know I do have my wallet, but it's got no money in it. <laughs> just looking forward to starting the rest of our lives now. Aye. Getting some grubbing us and then partying. We've earned it. We paid for it, so yeah, we're going we to enjoy it. Yeah, we paid for it, so we're going to enjoy it. <laughs> With a flourish of Dan's wedding sword, the cake is cut. You're a married man. Oh. Goodbye, cruel like... world. Another man down. <laughs> <laughs> Such a beautiful sunset, such a beautiful day. Tomorrow will be the start of our like, new life together. The sunrise tomorrow will be the rest of our days. You're so cute. <laughs>